welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be doing part four of everything I've ever colored including my whips so that's my works in progress basically all the pictures I've started but never finished but I will do one day I promise but yeah not today but yeah let's get started because there's a lot to get through and um, let me just clear this away okay we'll start with this little one this is a postcard book from by Hannah Carlson so it's winter dreams as I understand it this postcard book isn't based off of any of her bigger books so they're all original illustrations now the first one I've done is a Christmas one obviously I usually bust this out at Christmas or Christmas in July and I've done this in gel pen put in our black background fairly simple acrylic paint I used my uniballs and my um, what they called the Pentel hybrids well, I think they're called sparkle pops in the States because you know it's a nice book so I bust out the posh gel pens for that and I did that oh, I did that for Christmas in July last year and then the next picture I've done in here is another one just in gel pens nice and simple um, I've all that's I finished that in April I actually started that around Christmas and then I went into my colouring slump and I dev didn't finish it and then I was like it's April yeah I can do a Christmas picture in April it's it's called winter dreams anyway it's not called Christmas dreams but yes I did it basically just I did these in cheap gel pens as well I didn't even bust out the uh, nice ones but they're still really good I think I used the Poundland ones for them and then the last picture I did in here I did this I used my black widow pencils for this and I did my little I really like how my little squirrel turned out and I put a little bit of white Posca to put in some white not highlights exactly but just I wanted his tail to appear a little bit fluffy and I've got a little bit of gel pen in here for the accents and on the key lines of the gems because I'm not very good at coloring gems so I need that extra bit of glitter just to help make it pop but yeah nice and straightforward oh and uh, black acrylic uh, black acrylic paint for that little inset so that's my winter dreams Hannah Carlson as we got a Christmassy wintry hat on at the moment I don't want a rogue sticker we'll get rid of that so this is just a it's not even a an artist done by for this it's a Michael O'Mara book um, I think it's mostly stock art clip art whatever you want to call it but I got it super super cheap I think I paid a pound for this book or something so I'm really not complaining uh, but yeah this one also comes out quite a lot of Christmas and in Christmas in July so I did this on the 17th of the 12th 2018 I used um, I was I just got my well I hadn't just got them but I, I hadn't tried them out much but my Faber Castell pit artist pens so they're water-based markers but it doesn't bleed through and it being a small area they didn't they don't really streak too bad they don't have a chance to streak and then I've just put in a little bit of um, glitter gel pen on the snowflakes and over the key lines things like that nice and simple nice and colorful nothing fantastic but just you know a little something to pass the time and get me in the crisp spirit and then the next one I've done I've done this so early because I had this book before I officially I basically I class when I started adult coloring properly around spring 2018 so I started getting into it just before my birthday and then I loaded up on my birthday with lots of books and things but I'd got this book maybe a good six months before that um, I got it before the Christmas so I didn't have much in fact I think I literally only had gel pens which is what I've done these in I've done these in metallic gel pens and I did uh, I really love him I have no idea what date I did him on because I didn't use the date back then but I think I just used three colors of metallic pen and yeah I had no idea what I was doing either it's not like I knew about even thought about color palettes or anything but it just yeah 
I just gave it a go and I love him. Love my little stag. So that's that one. Bit of doodle in there with um, fine liners. I've used that as a test page. And this one, I've only just done that, this one. This is a bit of a sneak peek for my July finished pages because I did this for Christmas in July. I did it on the 2nd of July, in fact. So this is basically done with glitter gel pen. I use a lot of glitter when it comes to Christmas. It's like, I don't need an excuse at the best of times, but yeah, give me an excuse, I'm all over it. And I've used, instead of glitter, I've used that one, some of those metallic markers just for this sort of border, the inner border, just to mix it up a little bit. But yeah, a little bit of um, a little bit of Christmas bling. As I say, this book is nice and simple, so you know I can relax with this. And it's got a lot of images that are white out of black, which I always like those. And then I think this is the last one I've done in here again. This is so I did this for Christmas in July 2019. Again, it's one of the white out of blacks, all in glitter gel pen again. Surprise, surprise. Um, but it's just got the Christmas fir trees and the, the holly and berries. Nice and simple. But yeah, effective. I like I like the when you've got the black background because it really makes the colours pop. And I believe that's it for that one. The next one we've got. I'll get into the few colouring heavens that I've got left to go through. Um, there's not many now. I've got still got a stack on the shelf that I've not touched, but let's not talk about that. So this is the Christmas special from this year, or last year I suppose I should say, so Christmas 2019. I was just getting into my colouring slump when I got this, so I didn't get to do anything really in it. Only this picture, basically. Usually I expect to do two or three for Christmas and I didn't even do that at Christmas, I did that in 9th of November. So I've done that again, a bit of glitter gel pen, a bit of those metallic markers, which I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with those metallic markers. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. They're alright on this one. But yeah, my heart wasn't really in that one, to be honest. And then the only other thing I've done in here so far is uh, <laughs> this poor poor Santa. I actually picked this page out to go in my, what was it called, The Scavenger Hunt. If you've not seen The Scavenger Hunt, that's my first ever video that I did for this channel. So I'll pop that up in the corner. But basically one of the uh, Scavenger Hunt items was a picture of Santa. So I chose this one and I thought, oh yeah, I'll do it for Christmas in July. And I made the mistake of doing it in the evening sort of I guess it was sort of twilighty so I didn't bother too much with the lighting and I thought oh, I want a nice rosy rosy cheeked old-fashioned Santa and then I looked at him the next day I'm like poor guy he looks like he's had his chestnuts roasted doesn't he because he is so red and I nearly erased the whole thing straight off and I thought no I'll wait until I've done his Santa suit because the Santa suit will be red and so will his sack probably and when there's red all over the page, he might not actually look too bad because it'll have context. I just have to remember that there is no context with, with the rest of his uh, picture. But it kind of put me off going further. So I, it's near the end of July now. Uh, there's only a couple of days left. I can't imagine that I'm going to finish him now. So he'll have to wait until Christmas. Poor Rosie Santa been on the bottle too much rum okay so the next one we have is the Alice special uh, I need to say this is Alice in Wonderland themed I've only done one in here which I kind of I didn't mess up exactly but it didn't come out how I expected so I did all the back if you, if you check the back I'll see uh, all come through is because it's alcohol markers I did this in the 24th of May this year. So I did all the flowers first and then I put in a little bit of pencil work just to give a little bit of shading. I didn't go wild. And then I, I bought this glitter, um, glitter paint, it was called. And for reasons unknown to myself, I didn't test it. I didn't swatch it. I just had it 
in the one bottle. It was a folk art from I'd bought it when I was on holiday the year before in from Walmart. And I thought, yeah, I can just imagine. So we've got the nice colourful things, and then I'll do just do a glitter bunny, as you do. And I put it on, and of course, as soon as I started, it's another one of these ones that's a bit like um, Mod Podge-ish. So it's it's less of a paint and more of a glitter glue. And so of course, it, it went on really patchy. Now, ordinarily, I would have put on a second coat, but this. It also stunk to high heaven. Now I'm generally okay with things like that. I mean, I don't mind sharpies, and I know a lot of people don't like the smell of sharpies. Like I smell it when I first start, but I quickly sort of phase out of the the sharpie smell. But this, oh, just the smell of it was overpowering. And I was right next to a window as well, and I was doing it, and it still stank. So I just I couldn't bring myself to go for a second coat. So, at least for now, who knows, maybe one day I'll come back to this and give him another go to even out his glitter. But for now, he's, he's patchy bunny, patchy white rabbit. I've done the, the, the stopwatch, well, the old-fashioned watch in glitter gel pens. But yeah, it was such a nice picture until I had my bright idea, which was not that bright an idea. Anyway, that's the Alice special. Gothic Alchemy. This is a gorgeous book. I love this colour in heaven. I love the art in it. I could just look at every time I get open this issue, I end up having a quick flick, which I really mustn't because you're not here to see the flip through. You are here to see my coloured pages. So I've actually only done one in this book. Um, I did this with the Arteza real brush pens. So they do bleed through even though they're water based. They do bleed through. You'll see here it's like extra bled through. But because I had an incident where I had all my pens out to one side and I picked up, I thought I'll just put in a little bit extra orange and I didn't pick up the orange, I picked up the red. So I went and I was like, oh man. So I had to blend out the, or blend out the red, which it, it has worked. I mean, unless you know it's there and you're like really like fixating on it, you wouldn't know that I put the red from the rose right across his wing and the background I just used some chalk pastels because I tried to do it as a sort of um, old aged paper type thing because this thing in the background it looks like sort of constellation charts and all this sort of stuff but yeah just basic golden dragons with the red rose but I really like how that turned out and as I say I really love this book I love it so much that I I almost don't want to colour in it because the pictures are so lovely. Okay, so I will just quickly do this. It's not really a book, it's a magazine, but they, I picked them up really cheap when I was on holiday to Flor in Florida. They was in Ollie's for 99 cents. So this one, I've just done one picture in. It's a, where's it gone? It was really just a test page. There we go. So it's a test page basically with gel pens I, if you've seen some of my glitter pictures you'll see that i do blend my gel pens and i just wanted to try it so i finished that in may this year but i started it last year before my coloring funk and then i finished it this year but basically i wanted to see how the neons blend together and the answer is they don't really so they just make a bit of a mess so that's why i finished some of the leaves in the end when I picked it back up again for part two I just did it straight colouring but yeah I tried to do a bit of blending they don't blend very well I mean it's it's all right but it wasn't how it was meant to go but that's why it's a test page in a cheap magazine um, I'll also get this one quickly out the way with so this is my World of Warcraft book now if you saw my colouring book collection videos I'll link the playlist for all of those up in the corner if you've not seen them but I've listed my entire collection and this was in it now basically this was going to be a Christmas present and I got it just a few days before Christmas and found a printing error in it and I don't know if you can see it so this is the image here we have this raptor and then we have he's shadowed here it's almost like you could see through the paper except it's not 
it's actually printed on the paper in fact for some reason that one actually stops halfway through and it affected a number of the pages i think it, it was like the whole section of the book so like 12 pages including this one which i started i probably shouldn't have started i, I was really annoyed about this printing error because it was it was my christmas present and it messed up but i thought all right well we'll see if we can work it and this was one of the messed up pages so i put an acrylic paint background on it but it's i shouldn't have persevered you know i shouldn't have even tried i shouldn't have gone for one of the bad pictures because it just soured me for the entire book i was already like sucking a lemon because it was messed up book but then to pick a page that was already messed up trying to save it but it's not even an interesting picture so I, try, I started to try and put in a purple black ground thinking it was going to fade out to the blue and that was with my um, Black Widows and I just didn't like how it was turning out so you can see how some of the dust has spread out here and you can still see a bit of the purple on top of the paint so I just gave, I rubbed it all out and I just wrote it off and I haven't been back to the book since I'll probably, to save that eventually I'll put another acrylic paint background on it to cover it up but I think the way forward this with this book because I'm so every time I pick it up it just I just makes me bad tempered because it's like ruined um, but there are some good pictures in there and even if I maybe scan that one I might be able to uh, digitally edit out some of this background so it's not quite so bad and I think the answer to that, by scanning it, I can put it on good paper as well and I'll be able to use my alcohol markers, which by default will put me in a better mood, a bit more enthusiastic with it. And I'll give it a go, but yeah. Next. My Kew Gardens World of Flowers colouring book. Now I really like this book. Basically it gives you the image plate that was done by the botanists in the 1800s or whatever it was and then they give you the image on the right to colour but I've only done one in here um, I need to do more because this is a really nice book but I enjoy looking at the pictures as well so I'm not I don't feel too pressured to do anything in it because it's just a nice book anyway but this is the one that I've done I used my Black Widows for it and yeah, I used a Arteza watercolour brushes, no, not the brushes, the, the watercolour pencils, uh, just to base the colours, and then I used the Black Widow pencils over the top, so that's why there's a little bit of warping, not too much, but a little bit of warping, but none of it bled through, and yeah, I mean, it's a bit brighter, I didn't have the exact shades, I think something like that, I don't have the Derwents, but something like the Derwents, which have more um, earthier tones, probably would work better. As it was, I only had the Black Widows that came close to it, and they're a bit more um, brighter than I would have liked. But yeah, and I did that on the 22nd of July 2019, and that's the only one I've done it on that book. Shame on me. Okay, so next we have jade summer book intricate flowers strictly speaking this is not a mandala book but in practice it is because we have lots of symmetrical designs everything's the same they're all flowers though which puts me in my happy place because if you've seen any of my videos you will know that i love flowers so this is one i've only just done so you'll see this in the um, july finished pages I'm not sure if I've already posted that video yet or I'm about to. I'm filming this on the 28th or 29th of July. I can't remember the date even. But, you know, there's basically a couple of days of July left. So it's possible that I've posted my finished pages before I've filmed, uh, posted this video. But, yeah, this has only just been done. I did it with markers. I did it with my Copic markers. Now, I don't have many Copic markers, but I picked up a little six set of pastel pa uh, colours, including the buttercup yellow, and I can't remember what the lilac is called, but yeah, lilac and yellow, and I, so I used them for that and all the small flowers. And I've never tried to blend with markers because it's not something you can do very well with the bullet tips, or at least the ones I've tried. Admittedly, I've not tried that much, so, you know. But these have the brush tips. Oh, my God, they are amazing. I, oh, I need more of those in my life because this blended lovely. 
and I, I did put a little bit of pencil over the top but I didn't color I didn't color over it properly I just used I got a purple and I did some flicks up and then on the greens I again I flicked up to put like strokes and then used a, a lighter green to just blend it a little bit again the marker for the background but a really simple page I kept it simple limited palette because the the little flowers again the purple and the yellow that was used for the big ones and I love how that turned out really nice and the only other picture I've done in here I've done this one so I've done this entirely in gel, glitter gel pens because lots of nice small areas in this perfect for glitter gel pens and glitter gel pens and flowers are just like perfect in my world if everything could be coloured in a glitter gel pen I'd be at it but unfortunately because they're water based they do streak on bigger areas but this one has nice small areas instead I get glitter all over me but yeah that is the only two I've done in that book but I really like this book I'm going to be doing more in that very soon Next we have Botanicum. Now I haven't had this for book for very long and it's a book that I would want to do in pencil probably. I did test out some, I'll, I'll do it backwards, I did go to the tester page just to see how ink tents would work on it to see if it would blend through, uh, bleed through. You get a little bit of shadow in, I don't know if that's me being heavy handed or not because I've seen other people use ink tents in these books and they don't have a problem so I, it's probably just me being heavy-handed perhaps I shouldn't try to blend too much perhaps I should just go with a ink tense base and then use regular pencil over the top but anyway because I'm doing this in pencil um, I am and I'm really slow with pencil I've had this book I don't know maybe well nearly two months now and that's as far as I've got. I'm doing it with my luminance pencils. So I've just done the leaves and the pansies. So yeah, hopefully it'll look really nice when it's done, but it'll probably take me another couple of months just to get there. And it's a simple picture as well, but I just aren't pencils, I'm so slow. Okay, let's get on to more flowers though as we've got our flower theme going this is just a zen doodle colouring book I picked it up in Ollie's for $1.99 one of my bargains I've only actually done one picture in here so far though and that's this one so you will not be surprised to see that I did most of this in alcohol markers and I didn't do any pencil work at all on this which is unusual for me usually I'll do a the markers and then a bit of shading I took a different tact and I just used a Posca, white Posca, to give some highlights instead. And I think that worked out quite well. And the only other thing I've used is I've used a metallic gel pen because in the background they had these funny little swirls. And of course, because I made the back background black, I had to re go over the key line for the, the swirls if I wanted them. Same with the little um, gold dots they have in the background. Yeah, nice simple picture and I, to, to be honest when I started it I was just doing the flowers I was not that fond with how it's coming out and then suddenly it all clicked came together but in the beginning I wasn't even sure if I was going to bother finishing that page or at least not for a while um, I'll get this mini book out of the way with it. I've only done one in here and that is from the time chamber which is by Daria Song. So this came with a Prisma part of blah, Prisma Color pencil set, and they just gave away this little mini book with pages from coloring books. And this is the only one that really appealed to me. I do love a cog. I was talking to this with uh, what was I think it's Coloring with K. I'll link her channel. But we had we had um, a conversation as such in, in her comments for one of her win. Uh, videos where she'd bought the time chamber and she commented how much she loved all the clock faces and the cogs and things like that I'm like yeah I love it. I love a cog so and this is the proof so I did this on the 20th of August 2019 and as I say it's the only one I've done but I do like me a nice cog 
if you've seen the previous parts of this video, um, my finished pages, you'll have seen my Doctor Who pages. I did all the cogs in that. Loads of cogs. Love them. Okay, so this is a bookmark page. I've done a couple in here. This is, a, this is the type of thing that I pull out just when I'm in the mood for something quick. Though now that I'm getting all these smaller pocket size books, uh, it's much easier to just dip in and out. But this is this used to be my go-to for a quick page. Um, I've done it in glitter gel pen. I used I actually used alcohol marker on the, for the for the hand, and it hasn't bled through because this is basically card. Um, I know a lot. I've seen a lot of the bookmarks books on the French colouring channels and they tend to take them out and laminate them but I'm too lazy to do that so we have just um, I think I used a sharpie for the background as well but yeah little my little glitter parrot and then the only other thing I've done in here is my birdie sitting on the telephone wire again I, di I didn't bother with background but I did this all in gel pen it's a little shiny yeah and that's that and I think I'll just do two more books which are my color by numbers so I've got this one these are only recent additions to my collection really so I've only done one in here I've done the sunflowers I actually took out the key line and with Posca which I haven't made up my mind if I actually like that or not because I'm because uh, I'm still not 100% sure that I like color by numbers or at least this style with the pitch with the you know the sort of arty paintings I don't mind uh, say a mandala color by number but the style I haven't quite made up my mind whether I like color by number or whether I you know because obviously they're quite realistic pictures okay and then I'll just do one more book and this is the beautiful color by numbers I've only done two pictures in here one was a test page just to see how super tips would work on the paper I wanted to see if they streaked or not because some pages you know some papers are smoother than others um, but they, it was still a bit patchy so I may as well just stick with my alcohol markers and the only other one I've done in here this again you might see or will have already seen in my July finished pages because I did this for Christmas in July uh, we got our Christmas tree and a Santa stocking but yeah I posted this on Instagram I don't know if anybody else is the same but do you ever look at the back of your page and think that you know where the alcohol marker was bled through, it's, sometimes it actually looks a bit better than the front because you don't have the key lines showing. I don't know. I just, I really like the back of that for some reason this time. But anyway, that's all I've coloured in that book. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. I think there's going to be at least another two parts to this. So if you've not subscribed to the channel, then if you do that and hit the little bell then you will get a notification of the next time I upload a new video and if you enjoyed the video of course then I would appreciate a thumbs up I'm still a new channel so the, th the likes and the thumbs up or the dislikes if you want to you know um, that all helps the channel so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you have a good day and see you again soon bye for now <laughs>